Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedy back with another Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be taking on the legendary Goku or fighting legend Goku event with an all Goku, Goku's family team and basically we're going to be watching Goku kick his own ass. Should be a pretty good time. Now before we get started guys, let's take a quick look at this team starting with the leader which is my own LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku with a single dupe. We also brought the Anamic Transforming Goku with a dupe as well and the AGL Transforming Goku's Rainbow, the Tech Kaioken Goku's Rainbow. Now this Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku is free dupe which does concern me just a little bit because that defense is pretty pathetic but I feel like he should still do pretty good at least up until the last two stages and of course I had to bring the oh no I had to bring this guy the tech exchange Goku and Gohan and the friend here is I believe two dupes yes two dupes which while not ideal is still pretty good so that's the team right there guys and the items are Icarus, Princess Snake, Android 8 and Whis and without further ado let's jump in and see how well this team can perform on the legendary Goku events. Now, honestly, overall, I'm I'm pretty confident in this team's ability to beat this event pretty handily. I don't think it's gonna be as smooth as the Super Saiyans category showcase where we had the LR Vegito and LR Gogeta, or obviously, if you guys are running like a really OP Kamehameha team, uh, it's not gonna be that easy. But this team still is really, really, really good from both a offensive and I think defensive perspective. We do have four I think it's four Gokus that can stack defense. The Kaioken Goku, the Namek Goku after he transforms, the Goku and Gohan, and uh, oh, I messed up the... I probably could have supered with the Namek Goku, couldn't I? Well, it's too late now. That's okay. Misplay. All good. Um, and who else? Oh, the AGL transforming Goku can also stack defense, although he does stop doing that once he goes blue. So what you guys actually can do, and I've seen a lot of people do... Uh, pretty effectively is to reverse the AGL Goku to its base form and once you do that he actually stacks defense every single turn like infinitely just like the Kaoken Goku and some other units out there and uh, I've seen some people get him up to like 400 500,000 defense which is absolutely crazy but the issue with that is uh, when you reverse this guy to his base form, he is just called Goku, right? Which is the exact same as the Namek transforming Goku. So you can't run both of them on the same team. And you guys know, you guys know, if, was, if I'm gonna run a full Goku team, I gotta include the new STR Namek Goku. So that wasn't really an option for me, unfortunately, but if you guys don't have the Namek Goku or you're okay with not including him on the team, I would definitely recommend to reverse the AGL Goku because he really is a lot more useful on this event uh, in his reverse state, which is kind of sad, but I mean, it is what it is, right? That's how the card works. When he once he transforms uh, to Super Saiyan Blue, he just stops stacking defense and uh, honestly isn't the greatest tank on this event, but I didn't really have that many other great options as far as good tank Gokus go. I mean, I could have brought UI Goku, but I mean, if he doesn't dodge once he transforms, you're pretty screwed since he doesn't get much defense. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I think this team, as far as the current composition goes, is our best bet. And I mean, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die, man. There's not much I can do about that, but we're going to give it our best shot before that. And honestly, if I am going to die in this showcase, I feel like it's going to be that Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku's fault. But uh, I'm going to put my trust in him. I'm going to believe in him. He did do really, really well for me on the Super Battle Road Choke as I did with a full Goku team. So I'm, I'm hoping he does the same here. Unfortunately, his stunning on his super is 100% useless here since <laughs> there's literally no stage of this Goku fight that can be stunned. So he's not really effective there, but maybe we can still tank. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, so we're only on the second stage, so I'm not getting too excited, but... We're currently taking double to triple digit damage with type disadvantage, which does give me a lot of hope for the later stages when we have their type advantage or just neutral, right? Okay, so that's pretty good. That's a good sign. All right, so definitely gonna let this guy super. 
Um, I don't want to waste all these orbs, but I mean, we, we gotta let him super. We have to let him super. There's no way he can go a turn without supering since he stopped stacking after that final transformation, right? But things are going pretty well. Overall, I think the the plan is, uh, or the, the stage is going according to plan right now. This run is going according to plan. We're stacking that defense, um, doing some good damage at the same time, and ooh, getting supered. <sighs> this could hurt a little bit. 100k, maybe less. 56k. I can deal with that. I can definitely, definitely live with that. Okay. So yeah, I mean, we're gonna just keep going. Uh, one thing I do wanna. Just briefly mention, I don't want to talk too much about it, but uh, if you guys didn't hear, if you didn't know, there is currently a typhoon in Japan. I'm not really sure if it's like still like brewing, like it's on the way or it's already happening, but um, I heard it's a pretty big one from all, all the reports I've seen and, uh, you know, it could be pretty dangerous. So if you guys, you know, are in Japan or you know people that live in Japan, like family or friends or anything like that, uh, definitely you know, my, my, my wishes, my prayers are with them, my thoughts are with them, and hopefully everybody comes out of this safe. And especially, man, the people in our community that live in Japan, like uh, my boy Talon, um, Koresh as well, I believe, lives in Tokyo, so I think he does at least. I'm pretty sure he does, but either way, uh, you know, anybody like that, Talon, Koresh, so on and so forth, that live in Japan, I hope you guys are taking good care of yourselves, uh, stay safe, and... Yeah, I mean, yo, go, guys, go over to their Twitter pages, go over to their uh, YouTube videos, and uh, just wish them well. All right, wish them well, because, yeah, I heard this one's pretty pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Let's get back to the gameplay. Um, I mean, we're doing good. <laughs> there's, not, there's not much to talk about uh, as far as the gameplay goes. Like, the only thing I can say is uh, I, I'm still not, like, feeling super, super safe. Uh, about the the transforming Goku, his defense is at 75k. Even if you super every single turn, his defense usually does not break 100k from my experience, which is kind of weird. Like that is that is actually really really weird. Um, let's actually go with this so this, they can at least super here. Okay, here we go, guys. By the way. I've been enjoying the new animations, the new summoning animations on the JP side a lot. Uh, recently, I have started to play JP a lot more just because of all the new, like, crazy updates and legendary Vegeta, like, LR Vegeta Blue campaign, all that stuff that's going on. And then you look at Global, which is obviously where I'm main. That's, that's my main side, the Global side. Um, it's so dry right now, guys. It's so freaking bare. It's like the, the, the contrast, the disparity is it's kind of hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's sad, but it's also just funny, like how big the difference is. Oh my god, 113k. That's crazy. Uh, we, we do get the transformation. We do get the Goku transformation. In my opinion, the best transformation animation in the entire game, by the way. Uh, you guys can dis dis dispute that. You're not going to convince me otherwise, but if you guys have some other opinions about other animations you think are better, feel free to let me know. I probably won't agree, but um, what was I even talking about? I don't remember. Oh, animations on JP. So um, yeah, obviously I've been making quite a few videos about that, just like talking about what they all mean and all that stuff, and I really can't wait for them to come to global, which sadly could take up to, I want to say at this point, like six months maybe less it could, it could be less maybe like two to three months for lucky but never really know what these things for bandai uh they kind of release things whenever they feel like it and i wouldn't be surprised if it takes up to like five or six months before we see these new animations and while we're on this topic man i need to vent a little bit all right i need to talk about this a little bit why does it take so damn long for bandai to bring these quality of life changes um, or just like mechanics that, or, or new things, just anything new, any new update that does not include summons that really won't like affect their bottom line is, is not really, yeah, like it just really does not uh, matter from a profit perspective in my opinion. Like why does it take them so long to bring these things over to to global, man? Like, like how, why, how, would it hurt their bottom line really? And maybe I'm, seriously asking this question if you guys have some opinions, but would it really hurt their bottom line, their profits that much if they released the new summoning animations on both sides of the game at the same time? 
Like, would it really make that big of a difference? I don't think so. I really don't. Like, when it comes to banners and stuff, I kind of get it because they want to, you know, stagger the, the big celebrations, the big banners for global so that, like, they can still make as much money from the global side as possible. And uh, especially with the hype things, I get that. I understand. But when it comes to anything that's just, like, purely quality of life or, you know, purely... Um, something that makes the game more fun or more enjoyable, I don't know why it takes so long. Like, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. Stuff like the potential uh, orb, the, the like, you know, having to, instead of having to click every node separately, you can like click the each line and make it a little bit faster or a lot faster than before. Uh, stuff like that. Or stuff like the uh, movement speed on the uh, maps and all that stuff like it really didn't need to take that long I feel like to bring it to global and maybe if you guys know more about like the development side maybe it's because possibly for some reason bring the same mechanics over to the global side could take a really long time because I have to make a lot of changes but that doesn't seem like the case for me because oh, wouldn't they just have to like translate a few lines of text and stuff like that and be good to go I don't really know, but yeah, it's just weird to me. It, it really, really is just weird to me. Um, I hope somebody out there can explain it to me if you guys have some knowledge about that stuff, but it's just been bothering me for a long time. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Yo, if there's a bandai spy, oh crap. Well, I guess, uh, I guess them though kind of attacking is not the worst thing. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. I think that was a bit of a misplay, but not so bad where I feel like it's necessary to reset, you know? Okay. Let me focus real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. I'm really glad I got that one. Yo, I've been I've been doing um, Super Battle Road all day before this, and for some reason, like every single time I got a Dokkan attack, I would miss like two or three nodes. And I was like, Yo, am I am I good today? Like usually I get all seven, but today, like every single run, I'm only like two runs away from rainbowing my. Uh, LR Goku and Bulma, so that's why I've been running it so much. And I'm like, yo, there's something wrong with me today, because I, I can't hit these Dokkan attack like nodes, man. It's so hard for me today. Oh, such a beautiful animation. It's really sad I can't see that more often. Okay. Um, totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, something about the global JP thing. Oh, speaking of global, I know a lot of people right now are kind of pissed at Bandai because uh, they're asking where the top grossing stones are and all that stuff. And uh, honestly, first of all, I'm not... See, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, because I haven't checked in a bit, but the last time I checked a couple days ago, like maybe one or two days ago, uh, I don't think there was a region out there, even France, that hit top grossing in both stores. Um, I think France got really, really close with the iOS store, but they were one behind, like overall, top grossing overall. They were one behind uh, this like podcast player app or something like that from what I saw and maybe they hit top grossing in Android later on but I don't think they ever hit top grossing number one overall in the iOS store and for Hong Kong they hit number one in the iOS store but they never hit top grossing in the Android store that's what I know that, that that's based on what I saw I could be wrong once again but um, if that's the case, that would explain why we haven't received top grossing stones, and I think at this point it's been so long since the Goku banner came out that there's a very low chance we're gonna be getting top grossing stones, but it's not impossible. Alright, let me just be clear. I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm not saying that there's no way it's gonna, you know, they're coming. Uh, all I'm saying, all I'm trying to say is, uh, be a little bit patient. It, it may or may not happen, but if there, if, if, if it doesn't happen, then it's most likely because we did not actually hit top grossing. Oh wow. Uh, this is this could be bad, man. That final attack at the end without a super from Goku would be really bad. I, I, I gotta reset this. I'll be right back. Alright, we back. Let's see if there's a way we can get everybody to super. I think I probably wasted a few orbs um, on the transforming Goku. We can probably save at least like one or two rainbows here. Okay, so he gets those. And uh, this is actually more, right? Yeah, this is more. Okay, there we go. So yeah, as long as the Super Saiyan 4 Goku supers, I'm not too concerned about him. But if he doesn't super, this guy cannot tank like at all really. So especially against type of disadvantage like this. 
So yeah, we definitely had to get that super off. My bad for the reset, guys. I know some people are like, yo, that's cheating. You shouldn't do that. But hey, it's something in the game, right? It's something that's available that you can do in the game and they haven't fixed it. I'm sure they're aware of it. So maybe it's supposed to be there, man. Maybe it was intentional. Anyways, uh, going back to what I was saying before, um, oh, it's top grossing. Like, yeah, it, it, it might still happen i guess there's still a chance but i'd say it's pretty low at this point so don't be surprised and uh, of course another thing to keep in mind is because of this whole typhoon situation in japan uh, a lot of stuff has been delayed with like a lot of gacha games not just like bandai gacha games but like a lot of stuff overall in japan has been uh delayed pretty hard so cut them some slack uh in that for that in that perspective in that perspective from that perspective as well all right guys Okay, so we can super with the Goku. Why am I saying Goku, man? They're all Goku. <laughs> we can super with the Super Saiyan Goku, we can super with the Kaioken Goku, and also the Xeno Goku and Super 2. Uh, we're tanking pretty well here. Um, probably still not enough defense to tank supers that well, but as far as normal attacks, double digit, triple digit, totally fine with me. Awesome. This is good. This is good. Um, Oh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. So I made a video yesterday about the meanings for each of the new animations on the JP side. And if you guys are curious about that, go check it out. I, I, I tried to do as, as, a, as like comprehensive of a breakdown as possible. Uh, there's still some things that I'm not 100% sure about, but one thing I did see today on the Dokkan subreddit that got me kind of thinking was uh, someone was saying how Every single time they got a Xeno animation, where when you pull down the two little Xenos pop up from the top, they got two Dokkan FS exclusives, including the new Dokkan FS unit in the Int Future Gohan. So they were saying, yo, maybe, just maybe, it could actually mean um, a, uh, what would you call it, a, like, guaranteed new Dokkan FS unit, but also at least one additional Dokkan FS unit on top of that. And I will have to look back into my summons as well, but I think I remember getting that quite a bit too. Now I'm not saying that's that's the case. I'm not saying that's true, um, because as far as I as I, I was aware at the time of the video, I was saying how you know it's just a guaranteed just, but it's a guaranteed new unit, right? Like a new Dokkan FS unit, which in in itself is like really really solid, really really dope already, but. Um, if it's also a new unit plus another Dokkan FS unit guaranteed, that is a lot of damage, holy crap. Okay, <laughs> we're getting a little bit risky here, getting a little bit risky here. But uh, if that's the case, then that's even better, man. That is, that is even better than what I thought it was, which I already thought was pretty amazing. But if that's the case, that would be pretty awesome. But I will have to do some more research about that. I still don't know for sure, like, what all the animations do. I just, like... Based off my summons with like 15,000 plus stones, I have a pretty solid grasp. And uh, of course, I still never got the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken animation either, guys. Like, not a single time, which does lead me to believe that that animation is exclusive to LRs. And I have done a couple thousand stones on the Master and Pupil banner, the category banner, trying to get the animation. But guess what? I did not pull a single, single LR on that banner in like two to three thousand stones and if you guys ever needed a reason like another reason to not summon on these category banners that's it right there man that is the reason to never summon on a category summon banner it's just not worth it and, and even if people tell you yo you can potentially pull lrs on that banner yes it's possible but it's just so so unlikely guys like the chances of you pulling a, a, a unfeatured LR on that banner are astronomical, well not astronomically, very low. They're very low because usually these banners are guaranteed featured SSR and these featured SSRs are never going to be LRs. I mean, as, as, at least up to this point, based on the history of these banners. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely stay away. I would recommend you guys do the same thing and uh, yeah, I mean, until a legendary summon banner comes out or, you know, another Dokkan Fest banner with a featured Dokkan Fest LR comes out, uh, I don't think anybody's going to know for 100% fact what the Kaioken animation actually is for, but uh, I, I can guarantee you it's for something good, like possibly even like two guaranteed LRs, which would be insane, but at the very least, I think it's one guaranteed LR. Okay, so, <laughs> getting supered. 92k, oh, that's not bad. 
That's not bad. Yo, that could have been way worse if the AGL Goku got supered. So I'm actually counting my blessings right now that it wasn't him. This is taking quite a while though. It's taking a lot longer than the Super Saiyans thing was. You know what, guys? Uh, I think next turn we'll be able to actually uh, pop the active skill of the Namek Goku. Oh, actually, we, we could have already before? I didn't notice that. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, I'm actually going to turn up the volume here. I want you guys to hear this beautiful, beautiful uh, soundtrack and also voice line for the transformation. Here we go. So freaking good. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely love it. Yo, I, I just love this unit so much, guys. I just love this unit so much. I'm sorry if you guys, if there's people out there who didn't pull him, by the way. Um, definitely, you know, not trying to flex on anybody, but if you guys know my history with summons, man, I don't typically get the thing that I want. You know, like it's very rare that I get the featured unit that I really really want and especially man coming off the 300 million download celebration which was just awful um yeah i mean it was a nice change of pace man nice change of nice breath of fresh air i guess so uh yeah man i mean i'm just appreciating this unit i'm just appreciating the crap out of this unit right now these days i've been running his team a lot really really happy with it and uh there we go we finished off the super saiyan god stage now we're on the super saiyan blue stage um, let's see. I'm gonna definitely use an item here. So I'm gonna pop the Android 8. Uh, defensively, I'm not too concerned about these guys taking too much damage, but I mean, if a super does like 100k, we would have been dead there. Uh, the Goku now is at 200. Okay. <laughs> I gotta be more clear. I gotta be more specific. The Namek Goku is at 243,000. The Super Saiyan Goku, that is. The uh, Kaioken Goku is at 136,000. And the Friend Goku is at 115k, which is not too bad, especially considering the huge bo uh, boost he'll get once he supers, right? So I don't think we need any more items. Let's give this guy one orb. Um, well, that is a lot of rainbow. No, I don't want to waste those rainbow orbs, so I'll give him these ones. And let's actually give all those rainbows to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Beautiful. I love that full 24 key filling up man one of the most beautiful things in this game i swear all right grud grudgeless strike all right all right 48k okay that's fine that is totally totally fine with me all right 48k super that is perfect and we're critting for 2 million damn dude um yeah if you guys haven't used this kaoken goku yet definitely definitely give him a shot he's amazing especially um, I mean, on events where you can stack defense, right? Like the Infinite Dragon Ball History and this one, and um, the the other unit that came with him too for the anniversary, the physical uh, Namek like Vegeta, the the Saiyan armor of Vegeta. He's really really good for this event specifically because he gets a boost against Goku's, and uh, yeah, definitely use him too if you're gonna. Actually, you know what? I'll probably use him on like a all Vegeta showcase and like for this event later on I mean I, I gotta do it I gotta do it cuz if I'm doing one for Goku man I gotta show Vegeta some respect too right it wouldn't be fair at all to uh, Vegeta if I just did the <laughs> all Goku showcase right so yeah I'll keep that in mind remind me if I don't do it in a while definitely remind me I definitely want to make sure that the prince gets his respect because he's already getting shafted enough in Dokkan, right, and in Dragon Ball, like, in general, the anime and stuff like that, so, uh, yeah, if somebody's gonna respect him, it's gonna be me. I'm gonna show him all the respect he deserves. Alright, it's going pretty well. We have to use one item, which was not ideal. I actually wanted to save all my items for the final stage, but, uh, I don't think we'll have to use another item until the MUI at this point. I mean, fingers crossed, man. I would knock on wood, but it's gonna make too much sound in the mic, so I'm not gonna do that. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be a-okay here. I'm actually curious to see how well this, mm, I, don't know, I don't know if it's worth it though. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm curious to see how well the Namek Goku tanks against all these attacks here. 
since his defense is pretty high now. But I don't think it's worth the risk, guys. I don't think it's worth worth the risk. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's leave Kao Goku there. We'll leave Kao Goku there. He has the type of advantage. He's gonna do a lot better. Um, oh, we can still super here too. It's great. Okay. <sighs> 1.3... Wait, hold on a second. Why are we back to 1.3 mil? I thought he stacked infinitely. Hmm. Weird. Because his, his attack was up to like 2.2 2 or 2.3 mil, right? I, I don't think there's a turn limit on his, on, his, on his stacking, so how did it go back? Actually, I noticed his defense was lower too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me look back here for a second. Uh, defense at 147k. Oh no, 147k. So what was going on there? Oh, it's because uh, once you fall below a certain HP, right? Once you fall below 50 or 60% HP, he gets an extra. What was it? 60% or something like that? Let's see. Um, K plus six and attack plus 60% when HP is 60% less. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, that explains it then. <laughs> that would explain it. Okay, cool. Uh, ooh, okay, so we have the very, very nice type advantage here. I think I'm actually going to put Super Saiyan 4 Goku here, keep him in rotation, uh, take care of this UI Goku, no problem. It's the, it's the MUI, man, that really scares me. It really is. But aside from him, uh, all the other stages are just fine. I mean, like, even for this guy, since I have so many HL types, and I don't have any physical types on this team. Not too worried about taking too much damage from him. My stackers are already pretty stacked up. So, yeah. Should do just fine. Oh, man. Yo, you know how long it took me? Guys, I I'm gonna be honest with you. you. You guys know I like to be straight up, right? I like to be completely real with you. I don't want to hide anything. And uh, it took me a really freaking long time today to think of an idea for a video until I settled on this. And that just goes to show, man, how dead global is these days. And it's really hard being a YouTuber, man, for this game who primarily makes content for the global side. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not like, like I, I'm not saying, you know, I, I would ever want to leave the global side for the JP side. But in moments like this, man, when stuff like this happens, like... It, <laughs> It, it's hard to not have it cross your mind, right? Oh crap, there's no soup. We should still be okay, right? I mean, we have the top advantage, right? Like, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm really hoping. <laughs> really, really hoping. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, as a global main these days, as a guy who primarily makes global content, it's been really tough for the past couple days. It's just been so freaking slow. I know we are getting the int... Wuhan EZA, so we do have that to look forward to. And then, but then you look at the JB side, it's like, yo, LR Vegito Blue campaign, new login bonus, new missions, um, new, you know, legendary Goku event missions, all that stuff, man. We actually countered the super. Man, this dude is amazing. Ah, dude, I love LR Super Saiyan 4 so much. Okay, now here is the dilemma. Um, we definitely want to talk on attack with LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but. He's also going to be taking a bunch of attacks without any, like, without a super, um, which is an issue. I'm going to risk it because I'm not, I'm not token attacking here with Goku and Gohan. It just, it, it's too much of a waste, man. Too much of a waste. All right. So just, just, just fingers crossed, praying that we don't get supered. We probably won't because he just supered us last turn, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're fine. Once we get this Dokkan attack super off, then defense should not be an issue. Wow, I actually missed one. What did I tell you, man? I, I'm, I'm off today. I am I am off today for some reason. It's just been so hard for me to hit all of those nodes. I was actually surprised the last time I hit all seven because I've been missing I've been missing these Dokkan attacks all day, man. It's been weird. Maybe I'm tired. I don't really know what it is, but it's fine. It's fine. Six out of seven is still... Okay, we're still gonna tank these attacks just fine. Um, okay, dodge me. That's that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, this guy, I am worried about. Let's see how much these normal attacks do to him. Okay, 
33k on normals. That guy gets supered, man. If that guy gets supered, it might be GG for us. <laughs> uh, it might be GG for us. Damn, dude. Okay. Um, Alright, well, let's, let's go with this for him. And his defense actually is not going up as fast as I thought it would. 220,000. But you know what? By the time we get to MUI, it should at least be like 250 to 300. And that's more than enough to take a super, I think, for like less than 100k. So um, as long as we can do that, as long as the super attack will not just straight up kill us, I'm not too concerned. We still have, what, seven items left? So in that perspective, we're, we're good to go, right? Just trying to reassure myself. I know I'm talking to myself right now. I know I know you guys can't respond, but uh, it helps make me feel better. It helps make me feel better though. What? Man, we're still taking 121k. Damn. Okay, well then the MUI supers are gonna do like 300k plus maybe? Oh, damn, dude. We still need to keep stacking. Still gotta keep stacking. Still gotta hide these guys, man. Can't be too safe. Got two tech units on this team. Can never be... Uh, yeah, we, we can never have enough defense, apparently. Alright, um, we'll go with that. He just needs one orb, and we'll give... I want to save some for the Namek Goku, but... You know what, let's just, let's just do it. It's fine. We'll probably, we'll probably finish him off this turn anyways. With the two Ultra Supers from the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus. It's probably done. It's probably done. Oh, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> Random tangent. Random tangent, just crossed my mind. Uh, today was Pokemon Go Community Day, man. And if you guys didn't know, I'm actually a pretty avid Pokemon Go player. At least recently, uh, again, I started playing when it first came out, like in what was it, 2016 or something like that. And I played all summer, like was literally glued to my phone screen. I bought like four charging packs for that. Um, and then I, I took a big break. You know, I, I just kind of like stopped playing for a while. Ooh, okay, we're, we're, we're gonna pop this... We're gonna pop this versus Snake, actually. Heal up to full. Can never be too safe. And then I think I'm... Yeah, I'm definitely leaving the Namek Goku up front. The Tech Goku has 127k defense. It's gonna go up a little bit more with this super here, but... I mean, if we get super attacked in the middle... It could be bad news. It could also be bad news if we get super attacked at the end. So yeah, can never be too safe. I'm going to heal up straight to full. Oh, we're getting super right off the bat. That's actually a good thing. That is a really good thing. Since this guy is going to be our most, is definitely our tankiest guy on the rotation. Um, and maybe on this team right now overall. 57k. Totally fine. Yo, super me again. I don't care. That's that's okay. <laughs> that I can live with any day of the week. Um... Uh, yeah, man, it was Pokemon Community Day. Community Day today. I went out with Taya. We caught some Trapinches. Uh, didn't get that good of a Trapinch though, man. Like the one I ended up evolving was only 87%, but I actually didn't care too much about this one, anyways. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let me know if you guys play Pokemon Go in the comments too. Uh, would love to see some uh, support on that end. I know there are quite a few people that really hate Pokemon Go, but hey, man, like just let people enjoy what they want, right? Let people enjoy what they like, and uh, don't you know? Don't be too upset about it. Don't be too upset about it. It's not that serious. See, this is an interesting rotation because we have two guys that really. I mean, okay, so we have the Goku and Gohan that have type disadvantage, and then there's the Namek or the uh, AGL transforming Goku that really doesn't tank too well. And the Super Saiyan 4 Goku who can't go in the front because he doesn't tank until he supers. So I think this actually makes the most sense as far as the rotation goes. I'm going to pop the Icarus though. Because we need that damage reduction for sure. Um, okay, so let's get the super off here. Let's super with him and just enough to super with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. I love how much key this guy gets. Absolutely love the the whole like four key for the same type orb and three key for rainbow orbs Like it's so easy to get the supers off even when the board is bad Even when you get like a really bad board of orbs if you, you just need that one AGL orb and You're good to go man. Just that just that one AGL orb. And he'll still super for you This is good. This is good. It's, it's gonna take us a while because we don't have any physical types um, but 
I mean, it, it still allows us to stack for longer. And as long as the we don't get super on the wrong unit, it might take us an extra like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do this, but it's gonna be a clear, guys. I'm calling it right now, it's gonna be a clear. We just gotta be patient. We gotta play this smart. Can't, uh, I mean, I guess get too impatient. <laughs> I'm not very articulate today, man. I apologize, guys. I apologize. Um, ooh, okay. Hmm, problem. Definite, definite problem. Uh, I mean, if we give him these, are we gonna have enough orbs to... I don't think so. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna forego one turn of stacking defense, so that we can actually still super with the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4. Getting supered again, that's fine. With the Icarus active, I'm saying 20k. 20, 25k. 17k. Yo, I was actually over. Alright, this is perfect, man. Yo, Transform Dynamic Goku. Such a freaking monster on this event. Definitely the MVP so far of this run, man. No question. No question whatsoever. What else is there going on in Dokkan that I can talk about at this moment, man? I, I'm, I'm running out of things to say. This, this, this event, this run is going way too long, man. I had like some things I wanted to talk about, and I think I've talked about most of them. Oh, oh, this one big one, man. What am I talking about? This one big one. Um, LR Gogeta Blue. LR Gogeta Blue basically confirmed for the five year anniversary because of the leaks for the figures that are coming out in February of 2020 that are for the Dokkan collab. And of course, February of 2020 is when the five year anniversary starts. So, I mean, if you put two and two together, it's gotta be for the five year anniversary, right? Hold on. Um,. Is my Wii still active? Man, I gotta pay more attention to these things. I don't remember if the Wii is still active. I, I, I don't, I, mm. Okay, we're gonna pop the Wii again, or the, the Icarus again. But did I say Wii before? I meant Icarus. Um, yeah, you know, no, we, we have to. We gotta, we can't, we can never be too safe with these things, man. All right, it was the right decision. It was the right decision, even though we can't super, uh, with the Whis active and the defense he already has, I'm not too worried about him right now. Uh, I am worried about the guy at the end, actually. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about the Xeno Goku. Maybe I should have put him in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that would have been... You know, we got an additional, but not a super. Come on. Such a tease, man. Such a tease. Alright, uh, yeah, LR Gogeta, man. Basically, <laughs> not just LR Gogeta, but LR Gogeta Blue. Did I say that? LR Gogeta Blue basically confirmed for the 5 year anniversary. We don't know anything as far as concrete details. All we know is it looks like it's going to be him. Um, it's most likely still going to be a dual Dokkan Fest because that's kind of been the trend for Dokkan. So um, as far as the other unit in this dual Dokkan Fest goes, man, it's kind of up to interpretation, up to debate. Let me know if you guys have any ideas in the comments down below. I think it's going to be Broly personally. I think it's going to be full power Broly, but it could also be a Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue dual dual contest, which would also make sense. Um, so, I mean, either way, man, it's going to be hype. <laughs> As I said in my video announcing it or like talking about it, Bandai really, really cannot go wrong with this one. Like, no matter what they do, okay. <sighs> this, are they really doing me like this right now? If we, I mean, if we, okay, so let's see what happens. If we give him these orbs, are we gonna be able to? No, we cannot super. That's a problem. That's a big problem. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it be. Not, I'm just really, really praying, man. The super is not coming at the end. Um. But yeah, like Bandai really can't go wrong with the five year anniversary. If Gogeta Blue is gonna be one part of this uh, Dual Dokkan Fest, whatever the other half is, it doesn't matter, man. If it's Vegito Blue, super hype. If it's a new Broly, super hype. Either way, they're gonna make a boatload of money for the five year anniversary, and uh, I'm okay with anything, man. I'm, I honestly was like okay with anything before, anyways. Like, I'm not, I'm super chill when it comes to these things. Oh my god, we're getting super here. Oh god. Oh god, come on, just survive, just survive, we are still alive. 
Okay. <laughs> Thank God he can't double super. We're still alive. That was that was really risky though. See, we just we just had a, like a really bad board situation right there. So I'm gonna pop the Android 8. All right, pop the Android 8. Heal back to almost full. Um, I am gonna be putting this guy right here. 405k defense. All right, we're good there. <laughs> we're, we're we're pretty good there. We're pretty good there. Um, can we super with? Actually, we probably can super with the blue Goku right there. And we can also get the super off. Let's see, that is about 7 key. You know, why, why don't I actually launch this one? Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna play the sound once again for you guys. And let's do the active skill for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay, yeah, uh, damage-wise, not so impressive, but at least it looks nice. At, at least at least they did a great job with the voice acting and all that good stuff. <laughs> was really hoping for the crit there, but you can't always get what you want. Can't always get what you want. Um, but yeah, I was like, what was I talking about? Something about the five-year anniversary, right? I was honestly pretty chill with anything. Like, I would have been okay with Vegeta Blue, uh, Vegito Blue. I would have been okay with, like, I don't know... Uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, uh, but if I had my choice, honestly, like I don't really care that much, but if I had my choice, I probably would have gone for like a Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power based one, like Celebration Duel Dokkan Fest, as opposed to Gogeta Blue and something else, um, just because I feel like we should definitely have a LRMUI Goku. And uh, we should also have a full power Jiren with the shirt off, right? So a dual dual contest with those guys, I think would have been better for me personally. But with that said, yeah, I mean, w w with that said, it's still gonna be a really hype anim uh, animation uh, celebration, and I'm okay with this turn of turn of events. I'm okay with uh, getting the uh, what do you call it, the Vegeta Blue, and possibly Vegeta Blue or something else. So yeah, I mean. It's gonna be a good time, guys. Obviously, it's gonna be a while before Global gets it. Uh, we're looking at what, eight to ten months? No, not that long. I'll be like eight months. Eight months from now. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be in June, July-ish, right? So eight to nine months. Whereas for JP, they're getting their five-year anniversary in like four and a half months or so. So definitely a lot more present on their minds a lot sooner, and. I think I will be covering that. I, th I think I will be covering that this year. Last year, actually I wanted to cover the four year anniversary, but it worked out where the China trip that I had planned for literally half a year just happened to fall on the four year anniversary and I forgot that that was actually happening on JP at the time. So um, yeah, it, it, it was just really bad timing, like really, really terrible timing. But this year, I'm not going anywhere. All right, this year, I don't care what happens or uh, what like big event is going on or anything like that, I am not missing the five year anniversary on JP. I will be here, I will keep you guys posted with the updates and all that good stuff. So yeah, okay, let, let's actually pop the, yeah, let's pop the active skill here. I'm not gonna turn up the sound this time because you guys already heard it, you guys know it's dope. But let's just hope for a crit here so the damage is a little bit more impressive because the last one was not great. The last one didn't even hit a million. There we go. If that's what I wanted, man. I need another two for my Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I need another two for my Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, I mean, if we're choosing between a Super for Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Blue Goku, it's gotta be Super Saiyan 4. It's gotta be Super Saiyan 4. I'm sorry, man. Like, I don't want to disrespect you like that, but if we don't Super with the Super Saiyan 4, that's basically a death wish which I don't have, so yeah, we're gonna give him that super right there, even though you do a good amount of damage. Yo, do you guys think I'm weird? <laughs> like, I feel like I'm weird talking to my units, but it's a thing I do, man. You guys probably would have noticed if you watch my other showcases, my other videos too, I sometimes like to talk to my units and explain to them why I'm doing certain things with them, so uh, yeah, don't judge me, guys. That's just, people have their weird things, man. People, people are all weird in different ways. All right, um... 
317k defense. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, so take those. Uh, wow, we <laughs> luckily we still had enough to get this guy super up too. Uh, what is the best? Hmm, I guess if we go like that, we can still get the his orbs. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that worked out. Oh, actually, I missed the I missed the SDR orbs on the side. I mean, okay, it should, it should, it should be okay. It should be okay. It should be okay. Yeah, no, when you when you like make a move and then you notice you realize immediately they screwed up, you're like, oh damn. I really want to reset, but actually in that situation I couldn't even reset because you have to... The only way you can reset is before you finish your entire rotation, which you already did, so that wasn't even an option, but... Yeah, I mean, as long as... Uh, okay. Yo, maybe I was focusing too much on the ores because... We have Whis active still, right? We do, okay. <laughs> Thank God we do, man. If we didn't have the Whis active, that still probably wouldn't have killed us. But that would have done a lot more damage. Significantly more damage. Okay. We are getting close, guys. We are getting very, very close. Um. Oh God, don't tell me we have to... Don't tell me you have to talk on attack with... Well, first of all, that's, that's Whis here. Gotta be safe. Uh, don't tell me. Yeah, we think I think we got a token attack with the Goku and Gohan. That's gonna be a pretty big waste. But I mean, they stand a much better chance than the blue Goku do does do does. So uh, all right, stop complaining, man. Let's just let's just do this. Let's just get hit all seven. Oh my god, I actually missed one again, dude. How do I keep doing this? How is this actually happening right now? Okay, doesn't matter. We're close. We're almost there. No need to stress about the little details, guys. It's almost over. Alright. Goku has almost killed himself. I mean, he already killed himself seven times, but final form is almost dead. We got this. We got this. Give me a crit, man. Yo, what? Doesn't that piss you off so much when you, when you get... A normal attack that has like a huge attack stat and then you don't crit and then you get the additional and it's like a regular attack and then you do crit that that is just the most infuriating thing guys that that blows all right let's see what this guy's defense is at now 337k respectable i respect that um ooh, unfortunately it doesn't look like we have the orbs to make him super here but even so um, hmm, let's see, we actually might not be able to super with anybody on this rotation, really, okay, so let's say I gave him these, um, he can't super either, but at the very least, Goku can, yeah, Goku can, and that's the important thing, alright, Oh man, there's still there's still some risk. There's definitely still some risk. I, I'm I still don't feel like we're completely in the clear yet. I'm still a little bit concerned. I, when it comes to these events, man, I, I I tend to be a lot more cautious, right? Play, like like to play it safe. And uh, in the same vein, I'm usually like a lot more nervous than I probably should be. Okay, we took 86 damage. <laughs> Never mind, dude. What? Never mind. We're fine. We're just fine. I take back what I just said, man. We're good to go. We're good to go. We just took a super from Int MUI Goku for... I forgot how much it was. Like 41 damage, something like that. Yeah, that is just fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. Um, you know what? Do I even need to use any... Hmm. I don't think we need to use any items. I mean, we still have one person snake. I don't remember if he stopped Whis active. Was that the second turn? It was the second turn. I think that was the second turn. Just for the hell of it. Yeah, let's just let's go for it. Yo, yo, God. let's be extra safe. Let's just finish off this off uh, the right way, right? Let's finish it off the right way. Yeah, so you get those. And you can actually, that's four, this is six. Okay, you can get a little bit more key there. 
and we shouldn't be taking much damage on this rotation either and the next rotation we should finish it off all right the next rotation should be the final rotation i don't even know how long i've been sitting here for but it feels like it's been a really freaking long time guys this feels like it's been like an hour probably hasn't been quite an hour but i'm guessing at least 35 to 40 minutes somewhere in that area in that vicinity right now you guys know you guys been watching if you're still watching right now, props to you, man. You're the real MVP. Thank you for the support. I know most people at this point would have already quit. What is this on my shoulder, man? What is what, what, all this dust? Where's this coming from? What, what, why do I have all this white stuff on me? All right. <laughs> um, I'll worry about that later. I will worry about that later. Let's see how much Goku's taking this for. Oh my god, 118k. Beautiful. Was well, a good thing I popped that Princess Snake actually, because that would have been awful, man. Okay, so this rotation is, uh, hmm. All right, all right. This is, I, I think having the Kaioken Goku in the back definitely makes more sense. Um, I do not trust Super Saiyan 3 Zeno Goku at the very end there. All right, so we can super here. Perfect. Uh, let's give him one here. Let's give him two there. We're out of items, so we don't have the option to heal or anything like that. So we're basically just going to have to let it play out and deal with the consequences one way or another. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Unfortunately, not doing a lot of damage without the crits. And one of these guys after at the end here, give me a crit maybe with your 10% chance. Okay, no, that's all right. <laughs> 41. Okay, yeah, that's a, that was a good choice, man. Not keep not 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 putting him at the end there was probably the best decision I've made all run. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Oh, God. Okay. Well, at least normal attacks are double digits right now. That is a good thing. All right, perfect. Um, let's see. So he goes there, uh, I'll give him these, give him these, and perfect, we can still super right there. Okay, we're getting supered. We are over 300,000 defense, but this is no items, type disadvantage, 226k. We better finish it off on this rotation, man. If we don't, I don't feel too good about our chances. <sighs> yeah, if we don't finish him off here, I don't feel too good about our chances after, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. This is like cutting it way too close. We are cutting it way too close. Oh my god. Wait, yo, please. Yo, Goku, give me a super. I mean, not give me a super, give me a crit. Give me additional right now. Give me it. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Normal attacks are still doing double digits. Right? Normal attacks are still doing double digits. Um, Namek Goku's defense is up to 256k. Perfect. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Damn. Um... Hmm. All right, this is not good. Was there any? It, how could I play that differently? I don't think there's any way I can play. I, I don't think there's literally there's literally no other way I could play this rotation differently right now. I'm gonna have to just. I'm just gonna have to have to pray that Namek Goku finishes it off, man. I'm literally just gonna have to pray that he finishes up, because otherwise we're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Give me a crit, Goku. Give me a crit, Goku. Almost 2 million attacks that, even without a crit, we still might finish it off. But we need... <sighs> yes! 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 <sighs> Oh my god, most clutch Kamehameha of all time in Dokkan history. Thank you. Thank you, Namek Goku. Yo, I told you, man, I had to bring this guy. I mean, 
mainly because he's awesome and I love him and I'm so glad I can use him. I have him, right? Like, that's that's the one thing. But the other thing is, oh my god, that took 54 minutes. <sighs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that run actually took 54 minutes? Wow. Why did it take me so long? What did I do? Did it really take me 54 minutes to do? Okay, apparently... This video is not that long, is it? I mean, you guys know. You've been watching this whole time. Holy crap, guys. Okay, my bad. Yo, I did not realize. I did not realize this run took that freaking long. If you guys watched the whole video, you're the real MVPs. Maybe because I was talking so much in this video, that's why it took so long. I don't think just, like, doing a normal run would take that long with this team, but... I mean... We finished it, that's all that matters, right? We cleared it, that is the main thing. That is the, the most important aspect of this video, all right? Don't mind the long length, don't mind the misplays and all that stuff. The, the point that matters, the only thing that matters is that we beat it, okay? So, <laughs> that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the showcase. I will be back with a Vegeta-only showcase as well um, on the Legendary Goku event, but that's gonna do it for today's video and as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. That's all I gotta say. You guys are amazing. Thank you once again for watching. I will see you very soon. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.